Hello, I'm 5th District Council Member Bill Farmer, welcoming you to a very historic edition of Lexplore. We've come to the Opera House. We're going to spend some time with Luann Franklin, who has made a great leader for the Opera House for many years, and in so doing has started a program called the Broadway Buddies Program. We want you to know all about it and perhaps to help with it. Please stay with us. Welcome back. We've come inside and we've settled down with Luann Franklin, who has run the Opera House for 19 years, you said? It will be 19 years this May. Hard to believe. You must have been a child. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. But we referenced the fact I remember Dick Party, who did this job, I guess since the reconstruction of the Opera House, the reopening of it at that time? That's correct. Do we think? Mm -hmm. And so you said he did that for about 20 or 25 years? That's right. And you've done it for the last 19 years? I started in May of 2000. Amazing. And uh, so again, I have, I tell everyone I have the best job in Lexington. You really do at the most historic venue, if you really get right down to it. I mean, my mom just recently passed away, but she told stories of coming here to watch movies at the Opera House and that they would be sitting down there and mice would run across their feet. Well, yes, and my mom, who went to Transylvania, yeah. would tell me when I was growing up, you never go into that Opera House. <laughs> <laughs> now you've so lived here for 19 years. Now <laughs> I, I try, we've made some amazing changes thanks to the Opera House Fund yes. and Lexington Center. Yes. And uh, so we're able to continue a wonderful, rich tradition here at the Opera House. The theater has changed in this time, hasn't it? The size of what comes and goes, is all of it vastly different? Absolutely, because again, this theater was built in 1886. Right. And so the touring shows that came through were on trains. And uh, No kidding, yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Absolutely, and it was much smaller. So when the theater fell in disrepair mm -hmm. and was scheduled to be torn down, right. it was Linda and George Carey and W.T. Young Sr. Yes. Jim Host, wow. who um, formed an organization known as the Opera House Fund, and they wanted to save the venue and make it a part of Lexington Center because that was at the same time that Ruff, Ruff that, that's right. and the convention it was center were being in built. To, to everyone's, right. I think, positive. So that worked beautifully, but just two weeks after they purchased the property for Lexington Center, the roof fell in, and it completely changed the complexion of what the restoration was going to be. Probably made it more robust. I'm sure it did, and it cost a lot more <laughs> than was anticipated. But now we have this amazingly beautiful theater in the rich Victorian tradition. And thanks again to the Opera House Fund and Lexington Center and that amazing uh, partnership. Yes. Over the years, it has not only remained active, but become more and more active each year. In your doing around here, you identified some opportunities to bring more people to the Opera House or to introduce more folks to the theater in general and tell us about how that began, if Absolutely. you would. Absolutely. Sure. Um, it's a program that we now call Broadway Buddies. All right. And um, I am an educator and that's my original degree. Really? I was a teacher in Fayette County for many years. Great. And um, so I have an affinity for introducing children to the arts and in particular the performing arts. And so about, I guess it's been eight or nine years ago, All right. Linda Carey called me one day and she has season tickets to Broadway Live and she said, Luann, I'm gonna be out of town and I'm not gonna be able to be here for one of the shows. Do you know someone who could use my tickets? Well, this is as humble as it gets. Yeah. And All right. I said, I'm sure I can find someone. And then a couple days later, I called her back and I said, Linda, I have this idea. What if we take your tickets and we use them as a seed and develop a new program where other people can donate their tickets as well right. or purchase tickets and we bring underserved youth to the Opera House to see a professional Broadway show. Well, she loved the idea. Yeah, yeah. And so... And that was simple enough, right? That was simple enough. <laughs> but you know, I couldn't leave it at that. Don't leave it enough, no. <laughs> so we asked our patrons to do that and we had some corporate sponsors as well. Uh, even then? 
even then, at the very outset, we, the first year, all we did was send a letter to our patrons and say, would you like to donate? Something, anything. And some of our existing sponsors bought yes, some more tickets all right. for our buddies. And the first year we had 30. We had a, a total of 30. We picked a performance. We picked our Sunday evening performance. And then again, the old educator at heart said, I don't want these kids just to be handed a ticket. Oh, and without context. See a show. Right, right. So we expanded the vision for the program and we developed a class that they are required to come and take. Here? Here on at the Opera House, okay. on property, okay. on site, and it usually happens the week prior to the show. So they come in 5 30, 6 o'clock, and we developed my team and I developed um, sort of a curriculum okay. for the class. And we spend about an hour and a half with them. We start in the lobby Makes and sense. we tell them all about the venue and the historical significance of this venue to Lexington and what it brings and what it has brought for so many years. I think it's great. But we also want them to know they are our special guest for their performance. So our marketing department creates a special shirt and we give every one of them a shirt. This one. The participants. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. This one was from the Miracle Worker. So on the oh, back, yeah. it has the Miracle Worker. On the sleeve, one of our wonderful sponsors, White Groom Maggard Orthodontics. All right, yes, my fine folks. He sponsors this, Dr. White and his group. Our, um, our lesson this time was about sign language. We actually had Braille machines as well, and we had their names written in Braille for them. But they learned how to sign the word water because Helen Keller mm -hmm. learns how. That's the first that's word. That's the first word. That learns. was the breakthrough moment, wasn't it? And so we do that, and then at the end of the evening, we gather for a group picture, and After the they have their shirts on. All right. If the performers are available, they'll come and join us sometimes. Are they aware that the class is here? Yes. You mean? That's great. All right. They All right. are I like aware. That. And um, so, and then finally, right there. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. gotten some of the most amazing thank you cards, and I have to show you. These oh, are this made. this is a card. This was made All right. by one of the students from one of the first Broadway buddies. So you can see she recreated the red curtain, and <laughs> she also engineered. So in the back, there's a tassel. But look, the curtain rises. <gasps> And says thank and you. Her group all wrote thank you notes. Oh, don't you feel like you from broke, this broke through and really made a difference in those Amazing. people's lives? I, she brought this to me and I cried. I literally cried because I knew we had touched at least one student about what we do. This is really ingenious. Isn't it smart? Yeah, it is. So a wonderful student came who had never been to the Opera House and was that impressed. So that's exactly what we're after. All right. And I have one more to show you. Yes, please. We did Peter and the Star Catcher for one of our shows. Oh, this is. And this beautiful wow. piece of art was created by one of the students, again, as a thank you. So that is beautifully done, too. All of the characters. Oh, it's so and interesting. And it's got glitter, and she's glued on the stars and the title, and inside all the thank the yous. Here. Oh, so from the family. Thank you. So again, we're serving youth and organizations who serve youth in our community. So what's your target audience uh, about age, as it were? You know, each year we select a show, and then when we send out information to our groups, yeah. we let them know. This is targeted to uh, upper elementary and middle school, or maybe middle school, high school. It gotcha. depends on the title. Sure. We've done Shrek. We've done The Miracle Worker. Wow. We've done oh. Catch Me If You Can, which was about Frank Abingdale. <laughs> yes, that's great, yeah. And, and his <laughs> forgery. And we talked about that. So there are often life lessons mm -hmm. incorporated into the title we choose. So is this them. 25 or 35 kids? We've grown. The okay. first year it was 30. This okay. year we have 120. Holy cow. So we're very excited about that. And then I have some more really, really good news to share. Well, brief, brief. They're calling okay. us Okay. The Opera House Fund, in its generosity, has um, offered to sponsor an additional performance next season <gasps> dedicated for, for the whole thing. to the buddies. And it will be a public performance because a part of what our yeah. underlying yeah. concept for education is mm -hmm. we want you to come with the general public as well, buddies. 
We and be want part you of that. to be a part yes. of that. So it's not a school show. It's an evening uh -huh. performance, but a, right. an additional performance. So thank you, Opera House Fund and Linda Carey and, and everyone who's been so instrumental in this. You're a treasure for the Opera House and for Lexington, and this is a great program. We're glad to help hype it, and we uh, look forward to covering further success. Yes. Thank yeah, you, thank Bill. You. I appreciate it. It's you. a great pleasure. Thank nice you. to be with you today. Thank you so much. Well, I'm Bill Farmer for Lexplorer. If there's a, an issue or a place that you'd like for us to look into, please let us know. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.